Good evening, how's it going? Wednesday night here once again. That means one thing and one thing only. It means that me and Mark are here sitting in late in the Sporting Bet offices after dusk, talking football league, talking football league trebles. Mark, it's good to be here, pal. It is. I'd rather be watching Tottenham play Man City, but hey, we're doing yeah. this. We're, we're, we're getting there. We're skipping off to the pub after this to watch Man City beat Tottenham. You, mm. you heard it here first. Um, You've got three bets coming up. First though, another fantastic offer from the people at Sporting Bet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it copped again last weekend. Yeah. Another costly week. Um, but hey, we're going back in again. Um, back in Football League travel at Sporting Bet. And I will refund your losing bet uh, with a free bet uh, up to £100 if Blackburn beat Blackpool uh, on Saturday afternoon. Just make sure each leg is one to two or bigger and email it to me at mark.o'hare at sportingbet.com. And everyone beats Blackpool, don't they? You know, yeah. I mean, I think um, Northridge Victoria could beat Blackpool. They're so <laughs> Stady Bridge awful. Celtic. Stady Bridge Celtic, huh? Um, Stenhouse Muir. Bucky Thistle. Bucky yeah. Thistle. Walker Thistle. There's one for the <laughs> free scan. Uh, Headness for Town. Headness for Town, yeah. Uh, Gateshead. Absolutely. Anyway, yeah, doing all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, we should, we should <laughs> kick on. Cacao and beef, that's the last one. Anyway, three bets, and it, uh, you're kicking off with uh, Ipswich against Bolton. Take it away. Um, yeah, interesting one, really, because the mood around um, Ipswich isn't probably what you'd expect for a team pushing uh, for the playoff places. They'd only won one in seven matches yeah. before beating Reading 2 0 at home and then picking up a 1 1 draw at Leeds, which prompted their manager to answer a question with uh, some people might be frustrated about, with that result. Some people can simply f off. Good um, Mick. Mick is absolutely brilliant. He's off. doing a great job there, and he's absolutely right as well. They're going on nicely, sitting in nicely for a playoff challenge. Twenty-one to twenty to win this match, but it's the even money of Ipswich to score two goals or more over one point five goals, yeah. um, which is what appealing to me. Um, they've take out the results against the top three in the division, and they've won seven, drawn three, lost one at home. They've scored two or more in seven of those eleven games. Uh, averaging 1.9 goals a game. Um, I saw Bolton at first hand in midweek yeah. and um, they've won two of the last 11, losing six. Their away form is, is really, really patchy. They've lost five of the last six um, away and really conceding goals as well. Yeah. Seven at Reading, two at Rangers, five at Leicester. Um, away to the top half, they've uh, picked up just a solitary point from eight games, conceding 27, um, conceding two or more in six of those eight games. Um, very impressive going forward, so they probably will notch. But um, so over two and a half goals is, is also a play here. But actually, Ipswich has scored two or more uh, is a bigger price at even money. So that's my first bet. Dig in, dig in. Uh, Toxic is my well, I think my favourite Britney Spears song. Mark, <laughs> your next the next bet you've taken on, you're opposing a, the toxic price of the weekend in the football league, which is Peterborough. Peterborough three to five. So uh, they're four. Um, I am opposing them and back yeah. in Colchester in the double chance market at 6 to 5. Um, absolutely disgusting price that. A rotten run Peterborough are on. A 1 4, drew 1, lost 10 of the last 15 in the league, but they conceded 30 goals in, the, in that run too. They have won 4 of the last 5 at home, but um, looking back further, they've only won 4 of the last 8 at home too. So um, got to oppose them. Lee Tomlin is suspended again, third sending off the season. Ferguson's under more pressure. The mood just isn't nice. It's not productive at London Road mm -hmm. at all. And I think Colchester will be really, really up for this game. They've only lost three of the 13 away games in the league. Um, only one of the last seven as well. Six to five, I think, really appealing. Uh, Joe Dunn, there was a fantastic interview yeah. with him in the Irish papers on Sunday, uh, which he revealed his path to management and his footballing philosophies. Injuries have cleared up and the team is starting to play the football he is trying to make them play and they're getting results too. The last six have, have seen them win four and drawn one, scoring 14 goals, so jumping on that bandwagon at six to five. Wow, get stuck in, absolutely. Huh? Now, I know what gets you excited, it's not just his anti antipodean girlfriend, it's also... <laughs> Swin them when they play at home, they're always a yeah. nice price. Yeah. And they are again this weekend. Yeah, underpriced away, overpriced at home. Yeah. <laughs> 10 to 11 against Oldham uh, has huge appeal for me. I think punters really need to start catching on to this because the, the bookmakers keep pricing them up quite attractively. They've won 10 of their 13 home matches uh, in League One. Their record against the bottom half at home is 1 7, drew 1, um, scoring 20. And while Oldham, I think, deserve a bit of recognition for giving League. Lee Johnson a contract until 2018. They're playing good football. They're probably not scoring as many goals yeah. as they should, therefore not getting the results. 
It's a results business and they've only won two, drew two, lost six of the last ten, back in that relegation dogfight. They've lost three of the last four now, failed to score in all three defeats. Um, but it's this horrendous away record um, to top half League One teams, which stretches back to 2009-10, yeah. which is 1-2, drawn 16, lost 37 matches. Wow. Wow. Um, Shocking, really, and they've lost nine of the last 15 away. So, Swindon 10 to 11, just a huge appeal to them. Good stats there, definitely. Before we wrap up for the night, what's your offer against you again? Uh, back of football league travel at Sporting Bet this weekend by emailing me at mark.o'hare at sportingbet.com with your three selections, all uh, odds of one to two or bigger, um, and we'll refund your bet as a free bet if Blackburn beat Blackpool. Capped at 100 pounds. Capped at 100 pounds, that's important. I'm just remember another team that could beat Blackpool as well. We'll just wrap it up, of course. San Marino.